Road flares are pretty cool. If you're ever unfortunate enough to have to use one, it just might save your life. But we're not here to talk about that today. No, we're putting them to the test. We're freezing them, burning them, and putting them underwater to see if they still work. So, welcome to our new series, Car Lab. This is a road flare. Costs less than $5, and when you light it, it gets really bright. It also gets really, really hot. These things ignite at about 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and once burning, it can get to almost 3,000 degrees. I bet you didn't wake up this morning wondering if a road flare works underwater. I don't care. I'm gonna give you the answer anyways. Just as a disclaimer, do not try any of what you're about to see at home. We are professional idiots. Pop the top off. There's another small piece. You're gonna pop that off. And then it's got a match light thing. I don't really know what to call it. And then you ooh, light it away from you. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Whoa. Bro. See how long you have to hold it underwater. All right, pull it out. All right, now, now try it at an angle. That's awesome. All right, do it, do it again. Like straight down. Aww. So you gotta admit, that's actually pretty cool. So when we actually were researching this, we found out when you put the flare in vertically into water, it'll stay lit. But if you put it in horizontally, it'll go out. What we found out is that either way, it stayed lit. And if it went out, it would relight eventually. <laughs> so this happens because during the combustion process, it creates a bubble of gas around the fire so it never actually comes in contact with the water. All right, so we found out that a flare can still be lit underwater for a few seconds. So we tested our theory out to see what would happen if we froze it for 24 hours and this is what happened. It's still lit. Nothing! So next what you guys really want to see is we're gonna light stuff on fire! I feel like that was too enthusiastic. On fire! Ready? Yeah. Oh. Look at it spewing! There we go. It burned a hole right through it. Holy crap. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's on fire.
All right, all right, all right. That's close enough to that. Oh, the stick's on fire too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it out, okay? Okay. Yeah, that didn't last. Alright. Alright, I think that's good for that one. Oh, winner, don't touch it. It was fine. Okay, what's next? Right. Ready? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, a little lower. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know how it hasn't spilled out yet. That's so interesting. It goes down to the coke. And then it just stops. Yeah. Which is super cool. I like how it just... from the flare and when they would fall and hit the ceiling tile they would cool off and then harden. I know what that stuff is now. It's coming off of the you see how it's turning white? Alright, it's gonna go in. That's interesting. That's pretty cool actually. So we now know what this is. This, oh wow, that's still hot too. Um, so this actually came from the flare because this were the this was the pieces that were just falling off of it that drip. They turn white when they melt and then it gets hard and it sticks together. That's really cool. Science. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, ready? Okay, that's cool. Oh no. I'm scared. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa, okay, so if I move it. Put it close to it before you throw it out. Next we lit the ball on fire and that one was super cool. So I noticed every time I would move the flame around the ball, the ball would adjust to where it would shrink and heat up because it's made out of like a thick plastic almost. And it had air inside of it obviously because it's a ball. So eventually it just shrank down into a flat piece of purple plastic with a giant burn mark towards the center where I had the flame kept the most. Okay, starting to go towards me. 
eventually it just kind of all died off because Olivia put it out with a fire hydrant. So we started with what we thought was gonna be easiest to light on fire to hardest to light on fire. So what we decided to light up was a piece of paper, plastic, a plastic cup, cardboard, a ceiling tile, and as an added bonus, we decided to light a ball on fire. <laughs> so overall, we had a ton of fun. We kind of learned something. If you liked what we did, give us a like and subscribe. And if you have any special requests on what you want us to do on Car Lab, leave a comment below and let us know what you want us to do. We've got plenty of fun stuff coming y'all's way. So we'll catch you next time on Left Pedal Season 2.